Hey, it's Sabrina with Wildlife Exim, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the African wild dog. They are a member of the dog family. It is also known as the painted hunting dog, painted wolf, African hunting dog, and African painted dog. Um, they are native to the sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, their main habitats are the open plains of savannas. Painted dogs can also live and thrive in thicker bush and forest areas. The lifespan of an African wild dog is about 10 years in the wild and up to 13 years in captivity. The wild dog is the bulkiest and most solidly built of African canines. Um, the species stands from about 60 to 70 centimeters and shoulder height and weigh about 20 to 30 kilograms. They have large rounded ears and thin bodies and long mus muscular legs. The fur appears to be painted with brown, red, black, yellow, and white areas. The pattern of colors is different on each animal's coat, much like stripes of a zebra. The African wild dog differs from the rest of the members of the dog family in having only four toes on each foot. African wild dogs form incredibly strong social bonds with one another and are highly intelligent animals. Their packs are usually dominated by a monogamous breeding pair, an alpha male and an alpha female. The wild African um, dogs size or pack size usually range from 15 to 60 or more. They communicate within the pack by making high-pitched uh, vocalizations or squeaks which sound like tennis shoes rubbing on the gymnasium floor. If a dog gets lost or separated from the group it makes a sound like a bell called a who call. Uh, they can also signal pack mates by moving their very large ears to show what direction to go or what to do. Unlike wolves, other domestic dogs and domestic dogs, African painted dogs do not howl.